Hi everyone, how are you doing? I'm Anna and I bought this 55 to 250 mm lens. Several years ago I had a 70 to 300 mm lens, but it broke on me and I still miss it. Finally I was searching for a replacement and actually several tests and reviews claimed that this particular lens has a better image quality than its 70 to 300 mm variant. So I went for this one. I don't like unboxing videos that much, so I want to test it by just shooting with this lens today and see how it performs. Let's go! My husband and I went to a location I remember from several years ago. This concrete stairs was surrounded by a rainbow of colors from thousands of wildflowers. This year most of them are red poppies unfortunately, but it's still pretty anyway. I don't have the 70 to 300 variant anymore to compare the two lenses together, I just wanted to see what this new lens is capable of. We went to this location with all the flowers because this lens has also a macro function. Well, somewhat. It's of course not a full fledged macro lens, but you can focus fairly close. So I don't have to fiddle with macro extension tubes outside on location. It was going to be very hot that day, so we went to the location early in the morning. That was a good choice because, although we hadn't planned it in advance, we were lucky with the position of the sun that time of day. The light was shining beautifully through the petals of the poppies, making them appear almost transparent. If you want to read me images and a blurry background, you need to use a wide aperture. But lenses with a big aperture can be quite expensive. Fortunately, the zoom lens can enhance the dreamy effect the further you zoom in. And that's what I was looking for, a happy medium. It's a lightweight lens. That's great when you wanted to take it on a hike or something, so it's not too heavy. But it's lightweight because most of it is plastic. That's less durable than when it has more metal, but of course that will be reflected in the price. That having said, it still feels quite sturdy and I think it won't matter that much if you're just careful with your stuff. The letters IS stand for Image Stabilization and STM for Stepper Motor. The image stabilization does what it says, it stabilizes the image when you shoot handheld. That's a big plus, especially when you're fully zoomed in or in low light conditions. The stepper motor ensures that you can focus quickly, smoothly and above all very quietly. That's a big plus when shooting wildlife or sports. I don't film very often with my DSLR, but I was curious how the lens would perform when I do use it for filming. Both the STM function and the image stabilization worked great, even when it was fully zoomed in. It performs really well and I think it comes definitely in handy when I need it. After exploring the stairs, it was time to go back down. Before we went home, I wanted to quickly see the rest of the area. This place is a nice mix between man-made buildings and nature and it was perfect to test out this lens. I was fascinated by how the sun cast its shadows on the concrete. So while you watch the final footage, what's my verdict on this lens? It's not a professional lens, but I think it's a good buy for the price. The image stabilization exceeded all my expectations and while I wasn't necessarily looking for really fast and quiet focusing, it's a big plus that it has that SDM function for when I do need it. Overall, the photos are nice and sharp throughout the whole image, but I do notice quite some vignetting around the corners. It can be easily removed in post, but it is something to consider. So if you're looking for a mid-range zoom lens that's lightweight and not overly expensive, but also produces nice quality images, this might be the one for you. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comment section down below. Also, let me know what you want to see next in another video. Have a nice day, until next time.